Russia's victory in the military operation is impossible without the destruction of all NATO forces on Ukrainian territory. This was stated in a conversation with Info24 by Russian military political scientist Alexander Perenziev. I think that the end of the special operation depends not on the change of the Kyiv regime and its leader, but on the change of the West's policy towards Russia. Only in this situation can we talk about the end of the conflict, he explained. The expert added that at the current stage, Russia is forced to use military force to force the West to change its attitude towards itself. Perenziev noted that in order to achieve victory in the special operation, the Russian military must destroy not only the armed forces of Ukraine, but also the forces of the North Atlantic Alliance, which are currently supporting the Ukrainian army in combat operations. NATO troops have been fighting for a long time as part of the Ukrainian armed forces, including Poles, Balts, French, Germans, Canadians, British and Americans. When we talk about the defeat of the Ukrainian armed forces, we mean the destruction of NATO troops that are on Ukrainian territory. This is what Russia's victory in the special military operation will consist of, the political scientist concluded. Recently, Russia's permanent representative to the UN, Vasily Nebenzia, stated at a Security Council meeting on Ukraine that Moscow would continue to conduct a military operation if the West did not allow the cancerous tumor in the form of the Kiev regime to be eliminated peacefully. The permanent representative expressed the opinion that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is trying to force Western countries to become direct participants in a military conflict with Russia. According to him, Ukraine, with its actions, wants to push the world into the abyss of World War III. Nebenzia described the UN Security Council meeting itself as a concert stage for Volodymyr Zelensky. At the same time, the permanent representative noted that Russia has always respected the Ukrainian people and considers them fraternal. The U.S. announced a new military aid package to Ukraine. As part of the package, Ukraine will receive missiles, HIMARS ammunition, artillery shells, anti-tank weapons, M1117 armored vehicles, and other military equipment. This package will, for the first time, include, which can hit targets up to 110 kilometers away. This package includes the authorization of a presidential drawdown authority package, which has an estimated value of 375 million US dollars, to provide Ukraine additional capabilities to meet its most urgent needs, including, air-to-ground weapons, ammunition for rocket systems and artillery, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons. The new package contains, in particular, air-to-ground munitions, ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems, 155mm and 105mm artillery ammunition, tube-launched, optically tracked, wire-guided missiles, Javelin and at 4 anti-armor systems, M1117 armored security vehicles, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, light tactical vehicles, armored bridging systems, small arms, patrol boats, demolition equipment and ammunition, spare parts, ancillary equipment, services, training, and transport. The Pentagon highlighted that this marks the 66th package of military equipment the Biden administration has supplied to Ukraine from U.S. stockpiles since August 2021. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that the United States has allocated $7.9 billion in new military aid to Ukraine and imposed new sanctions against Russia, I am grateful to U.S. President Joseph Biden, the U.S. Congress, and both parties, Republicans and Democrats, as well as the entire American people for today's announcement of significant defense related to Ukraine, amounting to a total of $7.9 billion, and for imposing sanctions against Russia, the president stated. The head of state also thanked the United States for finding a way to allocate the remaining previously designated funds to ensure that the president's authority to allocate aid would not expire before the end of the U.S. fiscal year. According to Zelensky, the new military assistance will include an additional Patriot air defense battery, other air defense systems and interceptors, drones, long-range missiles, air-to-ground munitions, and funds to strengthen Ukraine's defense industrial base. Additionally, the U.S. is expanding its pilot training program for F-16s and has imposed sanctions on Russia to limit its ability to finance the war against Ukraine. 
We have always valued the strong bipartisan support in the United States and among Americans for Ukraine's just cause of defeating Russian aggression, Zelensky added.